Konnichiwa, I'm Alex with Lexco Moto Gymkhana back for another video. Now this video is going to be um, not so uh, technique heavy. It's going to be an easy video. I want to talk about memorizing Moto Gymkhana courses as fast as possible. Now when you go to a Moto Gymkhana event, you usually have a morning session where it's just practice and warm up. And then you go to a competition uh, section later on in the day where you're given a little tiny map. Now, the maps that we get out here look a little bit like this. You get this map and you have 30 minutes to memorize it. You're not allowed to ride it on your on your motorcycle. You're only allowed to walk it on your feet. And you're walking around with your little map and you have 30 minutes to memorize it. Those 30 minutes are essential for your success. Because if you don't get this course memorized in those 30 minutes, there's no way you're going to be successful during the competition. Because if you take one single wrong turn during your round, you're disqualified for that round. You have to execute the map and the course exactly as it's written. Now, I wanted to make this video because I noticed during a lot of competitions that a lot of people struggle with the memorizing of the course. Now, I don't really struggle too much with memorizing the courses, and I don't think it's because I'm any smarter than anyone, but I think it's because I've developed a certain strategy for memorizing the courses and I'd like to uh, share some of those strategies with you today. Now in level one, I made a video about the four elements of Moto Gymkhana. The four elements are four patterns and they are um, the slalom, which is a weave, offset slalom or offset weave. We have the figure eight and we have the full rotation turns. Now when I get a map for Moto Gymkhana and I only have 30 minutes to memorize it, I like to think about the patterns in the course uh, in terms of the four elements. This helps me to easily digest everything um, when I just think about everything in those four patterns. Now I'd like to give you some more advice, okay? When I first get a uh, Moto Gymkhana map, I like to subdivide the map into subsections. This allows me to avoid, you know, cognitive overload, you know, too much information all at once because I subdivide it and it's easier to digest. So if I'm looking at that map again, okay, this little green box over here, this is where we start and the red box down here is where we finish. So I would subdivide this map here into this section here, section one, section two, section three over here, and then section four down here. Okay. And when I start walking around the course on my feet, I will walk section one until I memorize it. I won't move on to section two until I get section one down. Once I get section one, then I go to section two, work on memorizing that section. All right, now I've got half the course memorized. Now I can move to section three, now section four, and then I do a very quick review and make sure I've got it all down. Try to subdivide the course into easily digestible sections. Don't try to think of this whole thing as just one big pattern, one big course, because your head's gonna be spinning and you're gonna be like, what? Okay. Um, after you've got the basic idea of where to go during the course, next thing I will start to do, okay, is I will start to really evaluate every single turn on that map very quickly and figure out the best lines around all the cones. All right, so I'll be going through section one, I'll see, uh, you know, a few U-turns, a full rotation turns, and I will look at each cone and I will identify where the best, you know, lines are for every given little pattern and section. Okay, so you have to be very wise about how you're using your time during the memorization phase of the competition. Okay, so again, subdivide into the four basic elements, subdivide the course into easy digest little sections, subsections. And then as soon as you got all that down, begin analyzing what the best lines around the cones are gonna be. That's gonna help you to be uh, successful during the competition phase. Now the, uh, <laughs> the maps that we get out here are actually very simple. The one that I just showed you is very, very simple. I've actually seen some maps from Japan and the maps that they get in Japan, <laughs> those are pretty complicated, way more diff difficult than what I get out here. Um, I actually would love to go to Japan and try one of those because that actually looks challenging. They use way more difficult patterns. 
the courses are way more, you know, lengthy and it's just way more complex. And so, uh, you know, those guys, <laughs> Japanese people are so smart, man. <laughs> uh, I would love to go out there and uh, go to one of their competitions. Um, anyways, I hope that these quick tips have been helpful. If you guys have any questions um, about any of that, leave, you know, a comment below. I'll see you guys at the next video. Arigato and peace.